so it wound up being a pretty wild night. So for the previous thumbnail, I realised I didn't have anything with the sign in. So I decided to head out, go down to the sign and just have a sneak peek. Turns out every single Zed that was waiting at this checkpoint was down there. Yeah, not ideal, but we're good. I managed to either evade or take out most of them. And we're looking pretty good. We're off to a pretty good start. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. It's Florent here and today we are leveling up Long Blade. What a beauty. Today I plan on kind of just clearing out this checkpoint. So I've had a couple of... Ooh. What you got? There are no regrets in life, just lessons. That one really rings a bell. <laughs> so I've had quite a few comments about this place just being chaos. And I'm very, very ready to sink my teeth in. Fingers crossed it's not as chaotic as everyone has made out. Otherwise we could be in for one hell of a ride. But at the same time, if it is, even better. I think it will be absolutely wonderful if we kind of get ourselves straight into the deep end and see what old Errol Fisher can handle. He's done well so far. The population of Ashenwood was very low, so he didn't really have too much... I guess too much of a threat, but here already is wild. It's going to be chaos. I'm so ready for it. Not ready for that to break though. It does kind of suck. Hmm. Could repair it. We could also ignore it. Either way, I'm going to wait out this rain. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to see. We're probably going to get overrun and we're going to get very, very damp, which is not good. I'll see you probably tomorrow morning. We ended up getting pretty queasy overnight. I kind of forgot how many Zeds were just piled up in this room. Probably shouldn't be sleeping in it, if I'm honest, but it's all good. It's a new day. We're a new man. A sick man. But a new man nonetheless. I think what I would like to do today is, one, get some food. Oh, I guess we got some more onions in the glove box, don't we? Let's grab those bad boys out. 20. Nice. Perfecto. Alright, I want to be well away from these Zeds at least for a little while. I think what I want to do today is try and just push through this checkpoint. So, last episode and between episodes, it's kind of been non-stop just slaughtering Zeds. Not really ideal and not really where I want to take this series, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And to be able to take this checkpoint is probably the only way we can do it thinking about it. We've got no water at all, do we? Ah, we got six bottles. Nice. Handy. I guess first things first, though, is taking control of this place. Christ! Get out of here. Sorry, Chunky. You gotta go, too. Oh, please be a mechanics book. One key. Nice. There we go. Alright. Juan Key. Perfecto. That gets us straight to that uh, water collector. That's literally the only thing I wanted out of this building, so that's wonderful. Fill them all except for the saucepan. That'll do. That'll do her. Alright, anything around back. Probably not really, but it may be worth a quick check, just in case. Ah, it's bored a minute, not sadness. Ah, Christ. Yeah, get me the hell out of here. Thank God for this long corridor. Come on, folks. Probably a little bit too tight for a claustrophobia to clear up, but it's all good. It is what it is. There we go. Nicely down there, boy. Nothing too crazy left behind from any of them. One big donk for you. Oh, that would have been a big boy as well. There we go. Alright, how are we looking? Hopefully, quite quiet. 
here. One's that standing. Two's that standing. Probably only means more on the other side. Bowl of Aribo rice. Five, five, six rounds. And a book. Book might be worth reading. At least just to clear up that sadness. What were those maps? Not playing a game of Windows Eds today. Ah, crust. Let's just get out of here. Not worth playing that game. Come on, come on. Stamp a little faster. There we go. Oh, hello, Mr. Nightstick Man. Ah, and a handgun. Two for one special. Now oh, we're bound to start getting exhausted soon, aren't we? Let's be honest. Colt 1911A1. Don't know what that was about. I feel like it might be the Colt. Come on. We do not want to be shooting that off in here. Not at all. Nice. Uh, did we clear it? Doesn't quite rack it. Yeah, another error on that too. Doesn't look something about it. Strange. Oh well, you can have that back. <laughs> and I will gladly... Maybe there wasn't a nightstick after all. Ah oh, well, not the end of the world. Yeah, I was going to read that book, wasn't I, before I was rudely interrupted. Nice. Okay, let's head on out. See what the world has to offer. Oh, beta blockers. Yeah, I definitely did see those. I'm not just making it up. A few knives in there as well. Thank you. Whatever you were, you must have been a chef. Do not like it. Please die quickly. Nice. Hate being trapped in a corner like that. For a man who is trapped in a corner a lot. Really do not like it. <laughs> Come on, folks. Probably should have rested too. I said that as we were leaving the building. Don't know why I didn't do it. Come on, one of you guys. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> Just came out in a massive jumble. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. One big old exhaustion logo. Get on, folks. Let's make this quick. It's not expecting it to be that quick. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, let's get inside. Let's get rested. And then let's see what this world has to offer. Don't know what that is in the middle, but that looks big. See that right there? That do be looking tasty. Whatever it is, I can definitely get on board with it. Ooh, and an axe man too. Thank you, sir. Kind of looks like a splitting axe too. Which means straight on the belt. Lovely job. Alright, is there anything we can lose from out here? Maybe a hammer. There's a lot of this extra gear that we don't need. Found an annotated map as well. What a welcome find. And I guess we can sack off you. That'll do. Drops is underweight for now, even if not permanently. Right, hopefully, we can gain a little bit of sneaking skill down there. Ooh. Now, this thing is nice. A whole lot of storage too. Unlocked. Great start. No key. Ah, even better. Engines on the back. <laughs> and the thing is absolutely battered. Yeah, maybe this isn't the one. 
Very cool though. And a whole lot of stuff to pull apart. Windshield armor, and we can fully armor it up. Clever. All right, well that's that's one to think about for future. If we ever really want a vehicle project, that's the one we go for, without question. All right, are we getting any closer? We are almost level two. Come on, fellas. So annoyingly, with dynamic traits, you can get desensitized and brave and all of that. But because we're claustrophobic, we can't do that, which is not ideal. Don't really know how it works to get rid of claustrophobia either. Kind of hoping it is just be outside 24 hours a day for like a month. Kind of like Smoker. Don't think it is like that, but it'd be nice if it is. You're going to be nice and easy. Give the old split and axe a whirl for a minute. Let it have its, let it have its day. Alright, anyone else lurking? Wouldn't mind just checking out this trailer too. 88. Yeah, maybe not. Big old, two big old groups over there. Is it going to be worth getting close between the two of them? And yeah, just grinding our way up a bit. Probably as far as I can go before we get spotted. Living that conspicuous life after all. And we've already been spotted. Nice. Any second now, we should be level two. Nice. Level three's going along quickly too. Very quickly. Lightfoot's absolutely flying. Won't complain about that. So I would very much like to get this before we get too far into Erie Country. I know that that place can be deadly. So I've heard, anyway. Fingers crossed it's not too bad. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to avoid. I love being conspicuous. I don't know if I've told you guys, but it's probably one of my favorite traits. Being easily spotted by Zeds just makes life so much better. <sighs> what a life we lead, eh? What a life we lead. Come on then, lads. Let's get this over and done with. Kind of hoping I can use this car as a bit of a buffer. Slow them all down. No. Did not work how I planned at all. Hopefully this is one of the last groups we have to deal with though. There's a survival knife in there which looks pretty tasty. The old brown coat. Going down. Really just want you to go down. Alright, let's maybe pull him up this way. Sling him around the side. I so thought he was going then. There we go. Nice. Nice plain sight too. Just to top it off. I was also having a look at the conspicuous... No. The dynamic traits mod. Kind of like a task list and what things you can gain and lose. And we can lose smoker after 45 days of not smoking. I don't know how long we've been doing it, but we can't be too far off. I have it written in my notebook somewhere of the exact day when we started. Could check it out now, to be fair. Should we find her? There's a lot of banging going on around me. We've got to do this quite quickly. Day 19. 45 days from day 19 is probably around about now. Two months, one day. Yeah, we can't be too far off. Can't be. I'll be shocked if it's much, much longer. 45 days. What's that? Whole month plus 15. So maybe day 10. We should be clear. If that's right, anyway. Fingers crossed, eh? Okay, so I've seen pretty much all of these areas. And they don't look too pleasant. But this place is somewhat safe now. I wouldn't mind coming down here and just having a little scout around and see what's going on. We're not too far out of the main kind of junction that comes in. Don't quite know where to go to start with, but maybe down here. This looks like a nice little city to discover. If we could... Hmm. There are a few lakes. A few broken roads. We could always try this road. Come down to this bridge. 
yeah, build a little fort on a bridge or something. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. We can figure it out and see how we go. Unless we come down this track. No, probably a bit too, bit too risky. Either way, we deal with what we're currently dealing with in the present. Don't really want to go jump in the gun just yet. We haven't even made it through the checkpoint. It's always time to die. <laughs> Fingers crossed we don't, but you never know. Ten episodes down will probably be the fastest series for a very long time. So I'm holding on hope. Wouldn't mind just checking this out too. Ooh. This is actually a very good find. Nice little generator in there too. Doesn't seem like anything at all in those crates, which does suck, but it is what it is. Life goes on. Ah, a new group to sneak past. Wonder what we need to clear conspicuous. I reckon like level five, maybe level seven. It's a long way to go either way, but I reckon we can do it. Gotta be so close to getting rid of Smoker. Vacancy, AC, TV, RMS, 55 bucks. Just the motel. Nothing too clever. Knox Distillery, perfect. That's a whole other bourbon calling my name. Give me the fellas. Maybe raining like hell, but gotta make the most of what's going on. Are you coming over? Or are you just gonna keep walking into the fence? Ah, crossed. Pulled way more than I wanted to. Don't even think about it, boy. One down. Ah, he's doing the same. Wonder what they're up to. All right, these knives are down to four swings. It's not too bad. It's not quite as good as the two swinger on the axe, but it is getting a whole lot better. And very ha very very handy for these times too. Ooh, a military Zed. Or at least the Zed with a military backpack. Been a while since I've seen one of those. Come on. Easy does it. Mm. Kinda don't really want to stab him out. Although he doesn't really have anything, does he? About to have more than us if we get bit. Yeah, I could have some beyond. Knew that wasn't a, a clever move. Let's try and grab that machete. That would probably be our saving grace, I reckon. There we go. About to see why I love these things with all my heart. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Let's try and drop back and rest. It's probably not worth the risk. Damn it. There we go. There's one. There's two. Okay, so far so good. So I've taken to just leaving all of these front doors open. Don't really want them broken down. Just like that, we are adding to the numbers that we need to get rid of. Do not like it at all. Here we go. Moving in nicely though. Come on, folks. Just need some big old, big old swipes. There we go. There's one. There's two. There's a three. And hopefully a four. Beautiful. Okay, what we got? M2400 combination gun. Sounds cool. Got a gas mask. Probably take you. Make a rebreather. I just wear the gas mask. Leg warmers. Probably not a bad idea come winter. And this bad boy. Crust. We are filled to the brim. Alright, what's the best way to do this? Probably set this on the ground. That can be our, our little drop off point, I reckon. Don't really want to start loading up these crates just in case. But 
anything that we can leave and then bring with us is ideal saucepans you can stay in there it's the onions that are weighing us down I think busted weapons too ah oh, and of course can't forget the dream boat can we you can be the protector of the bag lovely so cute alright we're getting sick very quickly in there might just do the rounds quick see what's going on and then clear out whatever's as we can don't really want them piling up and making us sick every night not if I can help it anyway you old fella Nothing too crazy down here. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Let's just get all of these out of here. Do without them, really. Crab corpse. Yeah, so it's a very long process. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'll see you when we're done. You don't have to sit through the same pain as we do. As I do, should I say. We kind of... Uh, it's exactly what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> All right, we're looking pretty good. We're all the Zeds around our base cleared, at the very least. The rest of these we probably should take care of too, to be fair. It's starting to get late. It's 5.30. By the time we get this done, it'll probably be maybe 6.30, 7. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day, but we are flying. So it's slowly getting better at sneaking, which is exactly what I wanted from even just the start of this area. We're growing our light footed skill and Smoker is slowly but surely getting rid, which is just wonderful. Cannot wait for that to happen. So that is music to my ears, that is. So I might start just doing little bits of mechanics as well. Don't really want to smash out the whole skill without a book if I can help it, but we can at least start pulling like bulbs, batteries, simple things, radios, stuff like that. Anything to help us get through what we can get through without too much aggro. So I'm sort of getting itchy for it now. Especially with vehicles needing hot wiring and all of that jazz. But yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. One day at a time. This is why I simply just don't bother without the book. 3.9 out of 75. Not good. Not good at all. But we're looking clean. We should be able to sleep the night without too much aggro now be lovely waking up not sick that's kind of what I hoped before anyway we got 20 onions left probably spend my night just smashing these out eat a few save a few for the morning and yeah hopefully have a nice start to the day I'll see you when we get there this has been the most ridiculous storm I've had for a while it doesn't feel like it's ending anytime soon either it does suck but it looks pretty and the sound effects are wonderful as always Ooh. We've lost or gained something. All of this is now bunched together, and I don't know what's gone. Hmm. Strange. Hopefully nothing good. <laughs> Alright, I think what I would like to do before before we go too mad and clear in this place is just get the trailer down with us. There's quite a few military Zeds there. It's been a while since I've seen those. Christ. Very, very bold move. Yeah, my fellas. No big backpacks over there, though, by the looks of it. Kind of think we might be able to drop our numbers a bit. You know, shift everything into backpacks and... Very loud. Shift everything into backpacks and manoeuvre it that way, rather than just throwing it in the trailer, letting it build up. Yeah, man. Ah, a lot of military backpacks. <laughs> See a hunter knife in someone's leg as well. I wouldn't mind saving a few of these if I can. Not everyone should go down by spear. Yeah, if I can help it. If I can't, it is what it is. We're yet to hit hunting knife guy. We can preserve him, get his jacket, be a good day. 
is already ripped to shreds though, so could already be battered. There we go. Nicely done there, boy. Nicely done. Uh, military cabo jack is gone. There we go. Pretty good shape. Jungle Alice pack. That's not. Is it? A military knife. Ooh. Used to explore from a distance. Interesting. Alright, hunter knife. Another jungle Alice pack. Quite light as well. Any more for any more? So that helmet as a backup. You never know when you might need it. And there were a few more Zeds over here, weren't there? M590 shotgun. May as well take you back home. One worn jacket. Don't really care about the pants. May as well take some boots at least. Nice. Let's get back. This rain is an absolute killer. I think before I call it a day, I kind of want to block this gap off. We should have a wood axe somewhere in here. Probably down near the bottom. Mm. There we go. One wood axe. I wouldn't mind just chopping down one or two, two trees around the back. Taking care of business just a little bit. Was going to put a gate up, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I reckon we just go straight for, straight for a couple of wooden walls. We don't need a gate. Save ourselves the nails. Save ourselves the aggro of cracking down some uh, some bits, hinges and doorknobs. Kind of sounds like too much aggro to me. For a base, we're not going to stay at anyway. Gear on. There we go. All right. Can you give us some sheet ropes? Only two. Only two. Long socks. Two more. Wouldn't mind just a third so we can get that third stack. I mean, there's no way we've got, what, four, eight, twelve logs here, but you never know. Already got six. <laughs> uh, sure, there's another tree I chopped down. Almost certain of it. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, we can take the logs home. Take the uh, sheets home anyway. No harm, is there? Leave those bad boys just there. Get all of these unloaded. And... Nope. Don't know what that was. Drill plank. I do not need a drill plank. But thanks for the offer, game. Two more sheet ropes, too. There we go. Alright, let's get this place safe and sound. Excellent. Let's get this wood axe put away, and then we can get this place safe and sound. <laughs> Might drag the uh, tent out here too. Been struggling to sleep at night lately, so it's not really ideal. So I think I think that little room in there counts as a separate room, so it's just making us panicked constantly. It's not really what we want, but it is what it is. You can only do so much. But I think, for now... I'm going to love you and leave you just there. We've had a pretty productive day, taking out Zeds, exploring the area, taking out some military Zeds and getting a gas mask, which is wonderful, and just building skills, really. It's been pretty good. And we've built a wall, just to top it off. But yeah, for now, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.